Hello everyone, this is NAI 500 at PDAC 2023. This is the very first day and it's my pleasure to be here with Ross from Fission Uranium. Hi Ross, how are you doing? Doing well, thank you. Great to be here with you. That's great. So can you give us a quick overview of your company? Sure, Fission Uranium is a uranium developer. Um, by that I mean we have a deposit in, in Canada's Athabasca Basin in northern Saskatchewan. Um, our deposit, we've already, uh, you know, advanced it far enough that we've completed a feasibility study. So, I mean, the basic overview is that we have a tier one project and we consider a tier one jurisdiction and we're moving along the pathway to be a producing asset. So. Sounds great. So, um, talking about the feasibility study that you just mentioned, can you tell us more about the highlights of it? Sure, the feasibility study we just completed uh, a month ago, so in, in about mid-January. Um, and by the way, we just now published our uh, full report on CDAR uh, earlier this week. Um, I'd, I'd say some of the highlight points was that we've outlined um, a very low cash cost operator. So we have a high grade deposit near surface. Um, we've, we've, we're looking at over a, a 10 year mine life. Um, and cash costs will bring us in under $10 US a pound, U308, which gives you some of the lowest uh, cash operating costs in the world, which is a, you know, a great competitive advantage. I see. So speaking of your flagship project, I know that your company recently announced a winter program to advance your PLS projects. Can you elaborate a little bit more on this? Sure, the program is really designed, uh, it's, it's geotechnical in nature, so we're drilling a number of holes where we are planning to put infrastructure, different stockpiles, different buildings. So this is just gaining more near surface geotechnical data that the engineers require to make these such buildings. And um, so it's really nothing to do with the resource itself. It's really all about building up the infrastructure of the site. As well, there's a, 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 a couple of holes on uh, hydrogeology holes. So in other words, to take to drill holes and take monitoring tests of how the water flow is moving in overburden in, in, in the few areas. But um, straightforward work, but work that will help uh, again uh, with, with the further advancement of the project. But we're underway right now. That's great. So last year you mentioned that the price of uranium was at the very beginning of the market bull run. So can you, uh, it's because of the nuclear energy demand is like very high at the moment. So how do you stand out from all the competition with all the juniors that have entered the market or have restarted um, their ex exploration activities? Yeah, I think it's easy enough to stand out like from the juniors. I mean, if because you consider we made our discovery 10 years ago, that puts us in a category of developers um, so you know we're our projects already uh, advanced um, you know we're let's just say from discovery through to ultimate production we're about two-thirds of the way along that pathway whereas a, a junior entering the market right now is looking for that discovery and they are I mean if successful they're still probably 15 years away from production whereas we're you're looking at six years or something you know to production so from that aspect it's you know quite a different type of story but we have been an explorer in the past um, and we also have uh, exploration potential on our property um, so if I am comparing on the exploration front we still I don't think any property has as good of exploration potential as the rest of PLS uh, you know tier uh, you know, just high priority targets and so we may be exploring this year as well as uh, on, on, the, on the subsequent years to follow. Amazing. So I know that your company focuses a lot on sustainability and you have been working on the environmental assessment process. Are there any updated timelines for production and construction? Sure, We're, uh, we'll be um, entering into um, the environmental impact assessment phase, which is our, you know, the probably the last major hurdle. I mean, that's the approval process for the project to be classified as an, you know, an operating mine. Coming out of that, you would receive licenses to build and operate. So we're entering into that, uh, that phase towards the end of this year, early 2024. Um, we expect that that review process will take about 18 to 24 months, somewhere along that line. That makes us uh, the potential to be a producer by 2028, 2029 somewhere in there but I think again you know to your point of sustainability 
um, you know, what that emphasizes is the fact that we think we have a, uh, you know, a, a tier one project um, with a lot of credentials on, on ESG, uh, you know, that make, make it an outstanding property. We've got a brilliant team that, that's moving the project forward. So, I, you know, I, we're very happy with where we're at. Wonderful. So that's all my questions for you today. Thank you so much for being here with me. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you.